I never say one more because then you hurt yourself on the last one. You're on, you're on your way. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm Sarah. I'm a course developer here at Udacity. I recently helped to develop the course Introduction to Programming with Java, which teaches some basic programming skills. With programming, you can do repetitive tasks that would otherwise be really boring. Here's a student talking about for loops. I think that the best way to understand why you should learn how to use a for loop is with an analogy. I have to move 10 heavy boxes. Wouldn't it be cool if I could move one box and then somehow my action was repeated nine more times for me instead of me having to pick up 10 boxes and move them physically by myself? That's kind of what for loops do for you. You write something once, you make sure it works once, and then as long as you use it properly, it does the work for you again and again and you avoid your code getting messy and heavy. I hope you enjoyed that clip, and if you have any repetitive tasks you want to get out of the way in the future, I hope that you'll think about taking Introduction to Programming with Java.